Now E3 is still going on, and these next couple of videos are going to be about games that have really impressed me at this year's E3, and are basically my top picks of E3. And I'm going to, of course, start with what I am currently calling right now my game of the year. And that is Resident Evil 6. Resident Evil 6 looks fantastic, and a lot of information has been uh, given at E3 uh, over the last two days. Uh, one of them being that it is, in fact, three games in one. Um, Capcom revealed that there are going to be three separate stories, one for Leon, one for Chris, and one for Jake. And the way it's going to be broken down is Leon is going to be, you know, very survival horror, very slow paced, with some action in there, so kind of like Resident Evil 4 style, and not so much co-op oriented, unless you have somebody with you, but there are a bit of co-op elements, but for the most part, from what I've seen, it's very single-player-ish. Um, also, Chris is going to be... Chris's story is going to be more um, Resident Evil 5-ish, so there's going to be heavy action-oriented and a lot of crappy co-op stuff, I would guess. Hopefully they fix the co-op this time and the AI partners aren't complete bullshit. Um, but the real interesting part is Jake's story is going to be more Resident Evil 3 with the with a with a nemesis like character chasing him around and trying to chase him down and all that good stuff. So it's kind of nice that they're bringing us Resident Evil 3 in a sort of um, new fashion with the current camera angles instead of the tank controls we now have the over the shoulder nice views. So that should be most interesting indeed. Um, they also revealed that there will be three separate endings per campaign, so when you complete Leon's story, there's going to be something Leon ending-ish, no Chris, no Jake in there. Um, when it comes to Chris, same thing, and Jake, the same thing. But the interesting part is if you complete all three campaigns, there will be some sort of special ending that combines all three, so that'll be kind of nice. Also, they kind of uh, gave us the size of uh, each uh, of the game. They said that each part, so Leon, Chris, and Jake's parts, respectively, will be 70% of the size of Resident Evil 5. So if you combine, uh, you know, all three of them, that is about 250. 210 times the size of Resident Evil 5 when you play through all three, which is kind of freaking huge and awesome to the fact that they're, you know, bringing that much more depth and things because I kind of found that Resident Evil 5 was short, short, sort of shorter than Resident Evil 4 and maybe it wasn't, maybe it was actually longer. I found that it could be beaten much, much, much faster but then again, I've spent a lot of time on Resident Evil 5 having played over, like, I think I've got, like, 800 hours into the game by now. Um, yeah, I'm, like, I could play that game till the end of time. Not really, provided I could play Resident Evil 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. Basically, the Resident Evil series I could play till, you know, the end of time, and it's awesome. And I'm... You know, I've spent a lot of hours on it, and I can beat it quickly, but, you know, um, I'm kind of happy that it's, you know, going to be a lot bigger than Resident Evil 5, and, uh, you know, I kind of got to say I would have preferred, hey, it's going to be, you know, 100, it's going to be the same length as Resident Evil 5 per campaign, but 70% not that bad. Also, unlike all the other Resident Evils that have had Mercenaries mode, Resident Evil 6's Mercenary mode will be available right out of the box. So you won't have to go through the campaign and beat the campaign first. It'll just be there right out of the box, which is kind of nice. I mean, I don't mind having to beat the single-player game to get the Mercenaries mode, although it's all kind of single-player. But, uh, I, I, like, I, didn't, I don't mind having to beat the, the story in order to get the Mercenaries mode. They also said there's going to be some additional multiplayer stuff and 
all that stuff. But they really didn't go into that much. And, uh, you know, based on what they showed at E3, it's very action-packed. But again, they kind of said, like, it's E3. We kind of got to show something fast-paced. If you remember the Captivate stuff, it was very slow pace and, you know, stuff jumps out at you and all that stuff. And it's like, oh, God. So it should be a good, fun time as it's got, you know, it's kind of bringing it back to Resident Evil's roots. Um, which is just fantastic, and I can't wait for it. It's going to be awesome. Thank you for joining me on what I think Resident Evil 6 is going to be and all of that good stuff, and I will see you here next time on YouTube.